Hi boys and girls and welcome to our YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph but what we're actually going to talk about is how to set up for a magazine shoot. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about putting a shoot together for a magazine and how you go about all the ins and outs. Now welcome back and today's story is all about getting published in a magazine. Now I had uh, got in touch with a magazine that I thought was going to be ideal for a project that I was thinking about doing with a actress slash model Angela Taylor. She had just done a part in a movie and her people wanted to get some publications so I approached the magazine and said hey I've got this girl I think she'd be ideal for you guys. Now they were really keen on the idea of me shooting with her so they set up a meeting with me. Now the meeting I had was over Zoom and uh, we can do a face-to-face -face because this magazine was in Australia and what we discussed was basically the budget um, what I had at my disposal and what I was going to do for them and also what sort of images they wanted to have published in the magazine with the use of Angela. And the magazine wants to have something that was uh, very sexy and there was going to be some nudity. Now Angela had already posed for Playboy so there was no issue with a little bit of nudity. But you know we're not just going to shoot a model naked here we're just going to do a story of seduction and so we needed to have some props some clothes. So that was why I wanted to talk about a budget was do I have money to spend on some clothes? Do I have money to spend on a location as I wanted to shoot somewhere outside of a studio and do something in a, a building? In my particular case, a really nice home. And I had searched a lot of rental properties in LA and come up with something that was very, very modern. So I had to keep that in mind too, that the clothing and costuming was also going to be very, very modern as well. We weren't going to have any of that ripped jean stuff or fancy dresses or anything. We're going to do stuff that's real modern. And as you can see right here, we got some pretty uh, cool and hip kind of costuming going on. Now the idea uh, was to do this layout with Angela and as I said the story of seduction a little bit of nudity and make her look hot and sexy. Uh, the magazine was really interested in that. They thought it was a fabulous idea and they gave me the green light. Now we put that all into a contract and I knew exactly where I was and where I stood with what I was going to do. So as I said I searched LA, found a great house and um, proposed to the owners of the property what I wanted to do there and they were all interested in me coming over. Now sometimes if you don't have a budget for a house you might want to call some friends and say hey can I come over and shoot your house because they might want to just brag that you came over with a hot looking girl um, or some talent and shot on their location and it makes for a great story when they're telling their friends. But in my particular case I found a nice piece of rental property that I have for the day. Now one of the things I want to tell you that's really important is if you're going to have your model posing over uh, such as a sofa or on a table or some other furniture you don't want to risk of having anything happen to that furniture so you need a site release to make sure that whatever you're doing there they've signed off on and you're not going to get into trouble for anything that you maybe break accidentally. So that's important so you need to have a site release along with the fact that you also got that contract with the magazine and you're also going to get a model release from the model as well so that everything is organized and in place. Now the other thing I talked to Angela about was makeup and hair and she had a makeup artist that she wanted to use. I had only seen this girl a couple of times so I knew who she was but I hadn't worked with her a lot. Sometimes I like to work with my own people. I know exactly what I'm going to get but in this particular case uh, I had to go along with what Angela wanted to do and um, make her feel comfortable about the shoot so I said okay that's good we'll use your makeup and hair person. Now, when you get to that location, make sure that you give the model and the makeup artist some time to settle in to the environment that you're setting up for the day. Uh, don't uh, go in there and start hogging the conversation or talking about this, that and the other. Just let them settle in and let them do their thing. Now I had to go in there periodically to find out whether the makeup and hair was going along according to what the looks I wanted to get and everything was great. So that was terrific. Now also another point that I want to bring up is the environment. Make the environment nice and comfortable and uh, you know make it sort of um, cool to be there with some uh, some drinks and some breaks and some munches. Now when I say drinks I don't mean anything alcohol. There's nothing worse than having people a little tipsy on your set. So no alcohol, just make sure everybody has something to drink 
and something to sort of munch on just to get you through the day and at some particular point obviously you're going to have to have a lunch period so you need to set that up to make sure that you know what everybody wanted to have for their lunch and keep in mind you don't want to have the model eat too much because you don't want a little tummy or anything on her that you're going to have to try to fix in Photoshop later. Now I'm not saying people get bloated after they eat but you know they also get a little sleepy and a little slow so keep that in mind when you're organizing a lunch. Now the great thing about this location is it has an outside with a patio that I was able to shoot out there and I used Flashville just brighten up my pictures which I think you can see here looks really really great. So everything just went according to plan and everybody was happy and uh, the magazine loved the photographs that I produced. So anyway if you like that story you might want to pop over to my blog andrefelixphoto.com and check out some more information on there. I've got lots of tips and tricks plus I've also got some great photographs that inspire you to go out there and create some of your own. You you can also download a PDF and that has a lot of stuff in there including diagrams. Please subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think and all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.